I don't know. But then today, in his very graceful way, he's usually extremely charming. He, um, he's in the tub or whatever, and I'm getting ready. And he goes, he goes, oh, you're putting on some weight, hey? Come again. <laughs> well, good morning, friends. We are about to do our last day of school before the holidays. And Esme has pajama day, so I got him this <laughs> cute little jammies from Joe Fresh. I got her new jammies. I don't know. I cannot send her to school and use jammies. I don't know what, what that's about. But anyway, okay, come here, muffin. Oh, that's hot. <coughs> look how sweet you look. That day is cool. Do you know why he got me ballet? He got me because I do ballet. That's right. Ready for breakfast? Well, hey. Hey. All right, well, let's do this. Day in the life, number. Three. Okay, one thing I want you to do while you're having your breakfast is we got um, teacher gifts, some gift cards. I wanted you to write your name on the card. Oh, sure. Okay. Why? Just so they know it's from you. So just write your name in here at the bottom. Okay, here's your breakfast. I got you some peanut butter jelly sandwich. Where would you like to eat it? Do you want to watch a little iPad? Oh, hey, Christmas tree. No presents under the tree yet. Most nights, like 99% of the time, I go to bed with a clean house and a clean kitchen. But you know what, last night, <clears throat> I didn't, I couldn't do it. I had a headache, I felt really tired. So I just made lunch, and like the kitchen's clean-ish. I was just feeling really tired. So, let's see, it's 7.58, we gotta leave the house by 25. So we're doing pretty good. Um, <clears throat> so not a morning person so I always struggle with mornings like hardcore because I could stay up so late but then how am I gonna get up in the morning I got one teacher um, a book she's pregnant so I got her a gift card to a bookstore and then the other teacher I got a liquor store gift card so I think they, they would like that um, by the way this is like all crafts for my children so fun times so in that little bin over there I've got three of these bags filled with baking goods and I'm gonna give it to my neighbors that we are friends with I've already given one neighbor a plate of cookies we went to their party last weekend and a card so it's the other neighbors um, just something small I wanted to do that last year like we had just moved into this house this time well I guess November 27th last year November 28th so I was not in any shape to be like baking cookies. I just, I wasn't that organized. So it's nice to be able to do that this year. And now we actually know our neighbors, which is really fun. I hear a baby crying. Let's go get my baby. Oh, Jackie. Wanna see daddy? Okay, let's go see daddy. Okay, it's okay. Baby, baby. It's hard to get up so early. Oh, Daddy, Mommy. What? Mommy, look. Is there an icicle? Stepping on a car now. Look at that. Oh, yeah. What's on the car? What's on the car? Anything? Oh, something. Stepping on the car. Just snow. What do you think? That's crazy. That's crazy. We went to bed a little later than usual last night because we're getting very excited for the last day of school. I'm pretty sure I was wearing these pajamas last day in the life, but they're so cozy. I have three flannel pajama sets. I rotate them. They're lovely. I'm just reminding you to not forget. So I think with your stuff, you will put it. I'll put your Santa hat in your bag. Santa hat go on my head. Well, you're gonna wear a hat for school. It's warm. This isn't warm, so I'll put this in your bag. When you get to school, you can put that on. Okay, come. Let's go. Let's go brush our teeth. Poke, poke. Okay, brush your teeth, I'll be right back. Okay, okay. No more you stop me if I say a word. Hey! Ah! Press. So, what's up with you? Where is it? Where is it? So, what is it? Okay. 
Brush your teeth. What have you done? Don't worry, I'm just gonna brush your teeth. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, well, I'm just gonna put on the pigtails, okay? My hair. Just, I know, but we gotta go just so you're like this, right? Mama, I don't want you doing it. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Okay, Esme. All right, so Esme's off to school. I've had some toast. Jack's having toast. Dean's awake. He doesn't have to work till tomorrow. So I'm gonna have a quick shower. My cleaning lady is on her way here. So she's gonna do like a big tidy, which is really nice. Kind of get me sorted for Christmas weekend. Look at this little minion getting all cozy. Getting cozy in there? Getting cozy? That's good. Enjoy. It's always the struggle of trying to have a shower and um, not get the hair wet because <laughs> I've already washed it. <laughs> My friends are never far behind. All the friends. <laughs> but anyway, since I didn't wash my hair today, I'm gonna use a little bit of my um, Batiste and just freshen the Bobby, Bobby! Yes? I feel something. What do you find? Face lotion. I'm gonna use, go with my Clinique. What's it called? Hey, open the door, let Nora out. That's not nice. Wait. Let her out. We'll tell her story right now. And give her a hug. Say, Mom, I'm sorry. Sorry. Give her a hug. Don't talk like that to the mama. You have to love the mama. Love mama. Oh, did a little tiny braid right there. Um, mascara, a little bit of basically just super light makeup. Um, concealer, a little bit of what's it called? Powder, blush. Mascara, eyebrows, and like the chapstick, that's it. So this is my look for today. I'm trying to freshen it up. You know, sometimes you just put a little extra effort in and it makes a big difference. But now I gotta chase a naked baby. God, you can't look at this mountain of laundry. I gotta bring all that downstairs, super fun. He's dressed, you look great. <laughs> okay, let's go downstairs. Now because my cleaning lady's here, I'm not gonna do like a crazy clean because I know she's gonna help. But I'm just going to assist here and just kind of get the basics out of the way so that she has time to vacuum and dust and all those things. So, let's do it! So you guys know that I've finished breastfeeding. Um, and I said to Dean, I don't know, a couple days ago, I was like, I feel like I'm putting on some weight because I'm eating like I'm still breastfeeding, but I'm not breastfeeding. So I mentioned this to him casually. I wasn't expecting like, like, oh yeah, you are. You look, you look chunky monkey. I don't know. But then today, in his very graceful way, he's usually extremely charming. He, um, he's in the tub or whatever and I'm getting ready. And he goes, he goes, oh, you're putting on some weight, hey? Come again. <laughs> he's checking out my booty. He told me I'm putting on some weight. I'm like, thanks, chief. Because I think I've told you guys before, like, while breastfeeding Jack, I was the thinnest I've ever been in a really long time. Like, I'd usually got more meat on my bones, so the meat is returning and it's going to my ass. Such is life. <laughs> when he said that to me, I could have punched him in the face. I didn't, because violence is never the answer. Sometimes it might help. Tidied, tidied. I just gotta bring all this laundry down. I'm lucky that Dean's home today and actually his flight got changed. I'm so grateful actually, he's gonna be home for Christmas because there was a chance this year he wasn't gonna be. The life of pilots, I tell ya. Um, but anyway, his flight's changed and we thought he was leaving tonight. He doesn't have to leave till tomorrow morning and then he's home like early afternoon. So anyways, I'm off to the grocery store. Gotta get a few things for stuffing that I forgot to pick up yesterday. Uh, I'm gonna drop off some library books that are like 10 days overdue because... And the worst part is I could go online and renew them, but I don't. I didn't know that I was starving till I tasted you. It's like that perfect cool, no, it's not cool. It's nice and mild out actually, so it's like the perfect day. Return said books, off to the bank, which is right near the grocery store, which is perfect.
got the last minute fixings and I couldn't resist. Mouche de Noel, Christmas log, and hot cross buns. Yum yum, now I need some cheese. That'll do. Cheese, eggs, woohoo, done, let's go. Don't judge my very full and messy freezer, but I am just preparing a few more cookie bags for neighbors and friends. So I just put a couple of sugar cookies in these little bags. <laughs> Beer case, classic. We've got sugar cookies with icing, chocolate chip cookies, and ginger snap cookies. Okay, so we're back in the car, and thankfully I'm doing this all child-free again. So I made it home got most of the stuff and then Dean and I were reevaluating for Christmas and I thought you know we're gonna make a bunch of pierogies but we're also gonna make salmon filled pierogies so I've got to go get the salmon um, salmon dill sour cream and cream that's what I'm gonna do but I'm also got to go to the phone place because Dean bought me a new phone the Google Pixel pretty interesting I like it but I, I have to go see if they can like switch over all my old contacts I don't know what he's talking about anyways I'll just go see what it's about and um, so that's where I'm heading right now I think I need coffee. Starbucks. Let's do this. Thank you. Where you hang up bells, hang up bells, hang up bells. This is the way we hang up bells. It is this scene. I love this movie. I'm drinking juice. Juice. I'm about to go put some meatballs on for these guys. I'm gonna get the meatballs. We got a log, we got a log cake. That's creepy. It's called Christmas log. Bye bye. Oh. Hey, who's that from? It's mine. That's you. Made you made that? Yes. This is so sweet. Where should I put it? Hmm. Good opening right there. Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh, and these are so cute. I want to hang them somewhere. Where should I hang them? I'll put them in the tree too, because they're so stinking cute. This is her little gloves. These little gloves that she made. Yeah, that looks cute. There we go. See that to me? I know it's not to everybody's taste, but a tree with like these little handmade ornaments, like they mean so much to me. Like that is such a special memory. We went to a church in our local area and it smelled like cloves and it was so nice. And just seeing that she's made that one and that this is from my grandma's tree and this is from friends, like, oh, it just makes me so happy. Hey, she did a pretty good job on her lunch, you guys. Check it. I like to see what she eats at the end of the day. So she barely ate the cookie and two, and I guess the. The tomatoes maybe were a little too soft, so. It's the holidays, and I don't normally drink wine by myself, but I haven't had a Beaujolais in a long time. I had made some homemade um, sweet and sour sauce, and I have some rice left over, so I'll do that at Brigitte and I, and the kids will have that. With some rice and some edamame on the side. Cheers. <coughs> Meatballs are ready. I put a couple drops in this rice of water and then you microwave it. It's all fresh and fluffy again. A little bit of edamame. I love this one. I get to use my leftovers. Can I just tell you? And this wine is going down a little too easy, let me just say. And I love, like, I love my new phone. I love techie stuff. Way to my heart, food, tech things. I'm all over that. Here is my sweet and sour sauce, homemade. This is a fantastic recipe. One day I'll share it with you. It's so good. Oh my god, my mouth is watering right now. Sweet satisfaction of not having throwaway leftovers. Winning! Yes! Dishwasher's running. I've got the kids in front of the movie and I just have a couple of dishes to do so I'm gonna do those real quick um, and then wipe the table down and I'm ready to go for bath time. I'm done. Okay, so 6.39. I'm gonna chill for 15 minutes, just gonna sit down and then we'll start the bath process.
Not cute. Let's get rid of that. I was gifted this oil. It's a multi-use oil. This was a lip balm in my drawer with hair attached to it. So that's, that's nice. Whoops, be careful. Can I have one kiss? No. What? Not even one? No. Stop! No. <gasps> okay. No, get that! Oh, no. Ah. Here, let's see. Can I help you a little bit? I'll get the back ones, okay? Oh, yeah. Oh, I think I need sunglasses. They're so bright. They're so bright. Looking good, little guy. Let's go. Go to bed. Let's go pick a book. Esme's just winding down, um, but you know, big school day. I guess some of the kids were teasing her about her little doll that she brought to school, so I find that upsetting when I hear about that stuff. Um, I'm right here, let's choose our book. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this one down now, um, and then I'll put her down afterwards. So It's kind of special for a Friday night, you know? If you could go anywhere, where would you go? That one, Ooh, where's that? Is that in the desert? Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Oh. I think I would want to be friends with hmm, Santa Claus. I gotta be a ghost. Oh really? Oh, there's a ghost right there. You want to be friends with the ghost? Hey, hey, what is this? Which one? Frankenstein. You like Frankenstein? Jackie really likes Halloween stuff, right? All right. Gingerbread mouse. Say good night, good night, guys. She's checking for Santa. He knows when you've been sleeping. He knows when you're awake. He knows if you've been bad or good. So be good for goodness sake. Oh, you better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. Wait, how can you even see me if I'm like 50 million thousand ways away from you? Because he's got powers. We don't ask questions, we just go with the flow. Um, you don't know everything. It's true, I don't. Do you? Uh, yeah. Do you know how the dinosaur died? <laughs> How did the dinosaurs die? So the ast the asteroid killed not the dinosaurs, the plants. Then they had no food. Some died because they had no food. Some got old. Yeah. Gosh, you do know a lot of stuff. I'm lucky to keep you around. Making some hot cross buns. Well, just one really. Can have a little snack with some butter. All right, my hot cross bun is ready. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this day in the life number three. Um, Christmas chaos, no more school. I'm excited for the next two weeks, seriously. I love having my kids home, I really do. I mean, not all the time, but mostly. So it's 10.30, I'm gonna do some work for about an hour and a half and then I'm off to bed. Merry Christmas, friends. I hope you have a wonderful holiday. Please subscribe if you're new. Take care, bye.